Hello, everybody. Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we once again catch up with our coaches here on Saints Vision. And we're also hitting the home stretch of the basketball season and joining us is women's basketball coach Chris Ellison. Chris, last week, always tough to go on the road down to southern Indiana. And Bellarmine fell a little bit short. But once again, some positives come out of the weekend as we get ready for the last three games of the regular season. Well, I think when you go on the road, you have to play very, very well. And, uh, you know, one of those teams was really struggling and probably the best 10 straight loss team I've ever seen in southern Indiana. And then uh, Bellarmine nationally ranked team. And neither in neither of those games do we shoot the ball well. So, um you know, we didn't shoot the ball well, and then we made up for it by not defending, leaving shooters wide open. So, it, you know, it's 0-2. You know, one of the bright spots probably coming out of the weekend was, was Madeline Harkey. We, we've been waiting for her to kind of break out all year long, and she did it on Thursday night against Southern. She was able to knock down some big shots and, you know, really do some things to hold us into the ball game midway through. Well, when we recruited Madeline, we recruited her for the exact reasons you saw on Thursday, and we have been waiting a long time. And um, hopefully, you know, she has turned the corner. She had a great practice on Friday. Not not such a, uh, a great game statistically on Saturday, but the kid gives it everything she's got, every single play, and that's just something that you can't teach. So, you know, we're looking forward to two more good years. You know, once again on Saturday down at Bellarmine, an extremely tough place to play it was their senior day. It, once again, it was maybe a three, four minute stretch in the second quarter that that really unraveled us a little bit. Well, it did, and you know, again, it comes down to you know possession for possession. You know, they come down and score, we come down and miss. They come down and score, we come down and miss. And the thing that Bellerman did to us, um, they took us out of our offense with the press. We really weren't able to run, uh, you know, any offense, any offensive continuity, uh, any sets. Just kind of had to put the ball on the floor and go. We were successful doing that. Ellen Foster had a nice game doing that, but you know, that's not the way we want to play. We actually want to play the way Bellerman plays. So that comes with experience. And the one thing too we were talking you know on Friday about their pressure and how we did a really nice job overall in handling that pressure well I you know we didn't we, we did have 20 turnovers you know and, and the magic number is 10 but uh, when we did put the ball on the floor and did attack we had some success and I think in the fourth quarter we did pull within six or eight but you know, it, you know there's no there's no moral victories at Maryville you either win or you don't and we've got to fix it S&T injury this week obviously Thursday we start off down at the O'Reilly Center and you know, this isn't your stereotypical jury team. We had them on the ropes here back in December, and it was that three, four-minute stretch that kind of uh, that was the undoing. I mean, three and four minutes the whole second half. <laughs> um, uh, you know, they're going to come at you in waves, and you got to be able to uh, stop their runs. And th- th- it's a, you know, it's a really good team, um, heavily guard-oriented with just four great guards. You know. Um, can beach in a lot of different ways. They they can hit outside. They can drive. You know, Dressler does a nice job. The middle horns have done a nice job for them as a freshman in the middle. You know, they're they're certainly one of the teams to beat in our league, and um, not very many people have figured it out. Thanks so much, Chris. We'll talk to you on Friday afternoon. Well, thank you, Jim. Chris Ellis joins us as he always does here on Saints Vision. Once again, Thursday night's game against Drury will be on the GLVC Sports Network. We'll be back on Saints Vision on Saturday at 12.50 as the women take on Missouri S&T. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.